Welcome back. It is the last day of Wing It Goes Pink, and we wanted to remind you that Living Pink does not have to end when October ends. Today we are joined by Diana Igluski of Southtown's Radiology, and we wanted to take a minute to wrap up Winging It Goes Pink. And we were talking in the green room, and we sort of talked about how we, we missed something. Tell us a little bit, let's start by talking about women with breast implants and breast health. Well, there's a misconception that women with implants can't have a mammogram. That's not true. We do a few extra views for it and we compress but only slightly, only enough to hold the breast still so that we can get an image. But they certainly can have a mammogram done if they have implants. It's just very important to tell the technologist before we start the exam. And it seems almost obvious, but is it still equally as important? Absolutely, and, and, and so much even more so, um, because the implant could sometimes hide things um, more so than a breast that does not have implants. And you were also mentioning that there's three things that women should remember when October ends throughout the year. Let's Absolutely. start with the first thing. The first thing is that they need to do their self-breast exams. They're going to know what's normal in their own breast. Um, the second thing would be that they are having a physical breast exam by a professional, their doctor, their nurse practitioner, or physician's assistant. And of course, the third thing would be to have their screening mammogram done, preferably a digital exam. Um, those three things together is what helps with early detection of breast cancer. If we're going to find breast cancer, we're going to find it early enough that it's um, treatable and it's successfully treatable. Now let's uh, break down the first step, the self-breast exams. How often should a woman be checking for these? It should be done monthly, um, you know, if preferably the same time, maybe after their cycle. And that's something that they should go over with their physician um, to get instructions on. Now should a woman, if she finds anything that's a little bit out of place or a little abnormal, should she contact her physician right away? Absolutely. Um, it, it, so the sooner the better. Uh, get in touch with the doctor. And is there anything else that you would like to get out there as we sort of wrap up Wing It Goes Pink Week for them to remember maybe any tips or helpful advice? Just don't be afraid. Um, have your mammogram done. Um, and when you do have a good experience about it, talk about it. Tell your friends because there are women out there who don't have it done because they're afraid and they've heard only the negative things about it and not the, the good things about it. All right, well, thank you so much, and I want to thank <laughs> Southtown's Radiology thank on behalf you. of Wingy It and our viewers. We've had so much fun this week, and thank you so much for helping us sort of make this happen. And thank you. And